Welcome to Crazy Down's 10 Minutes or Less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dynamite, the explosive one with starting timer. All right. Uh, Boom. TNT. Yes. Have you ever known, whether you used it or not, I guess, uh, have you ever known anyone who like got things through like a particular like black market for the item? Other than, obviously, drugs aside, because drugs are a black market item. Why would you assume that I would because know people who got drugs? Anyone's from the black, black market? market item is going to be drugs because there's no market for it. So that's the easy way to go. Yeah, people buy drugs. I know someone who's bought weed before. Do you know somebody who's bought weed before? Yeah, dude, I do. Okay. Yeah, they're in jail now because it's illegal. <laughs> <laughs> I turned them in. <laughs> Good. But uh, did, like when you were in school or like through somebody, did you know someone who had a hookup or whatever? And it was, t- I mean, technically it's like a black market to get it. So, uh, you know what is funny is like, um, there's this thing with uh, hood barbershops. I'm sure you, you're probably familiar. You've probably seen it depicted in like uh, movies or whatever, where like if you go to the barbershop, occasionally somebody will fall through who has like, sneakers or uh, like a coat or like a cd player or something during that time period obviously i'm sure it's like right right they run but, in like hey i got yeah. some shoes in the car if anybody wants some shoes yeah, like hey right now i got a laptop four hundred dollars you know right like, that kind of stuff happens does that count as a black market uh kind of i guess okay yeah. then i have 100 percent yeah. bought something from my, the from the my, barbershop my dad merchant he, uh, he the was, barbershop merchant he was uh, <laughs> dating a lady after my parents split up that were lived in like kind of the bad part of Ashtabula. She yeah. lived on Station Avenue, you mm-hmm. know? And uh, he was like, one day he came home and he had these two CD players. Like, and I was like, they were like the home stereos with like the multi disc. Hey. And he was like, I was like, I was like, where the hell did you get those or whatever? And he was like, I was over at my girl's house and uh, this guy walks up. He's like, hey, I got these two stereos for 20 bucks a piece. And, yeah. and he bought them and there was effing CDs inside them still, oh. dude. One of the CDs was a Savage Garden. I remember that. Oh, that's a good CD. Right. Oh, whatever, dude. And he gave me one and he and he kept, well, yeah, they're like little mini seven disc changers. They were dude. very, I mean, they weren't high end. I no, think they might have been like, what, they might have been Sony, but they were, they were not. bucks, man. That's a deal. Yeah. That's and, a deal. Uh, but yeah, exactly. Exactly that thing. He, he, said, he said we were sitting on her pe- on her porch. Somebody walked by and was like, "Hey, you guys want some stereos?" And he yeah. was like, "Um, yes." Yeah, that's a steal right there. Literally, I, you know, it, and, and you, we don't really run and like what other types of black market are there going to be except for like the guy on the street that's going to sell you. Something? Yeah, I guess that's true. Like, or you know, there's like it was funny. My uh, when I when I was married, my stepson was like, "Yeah, there's this kid who every day comes in. He brings in breakfast tacos in his book bag and he sells them. He has them wrapped individually wrapped in a uh, foil." And he comes in and he sells them to the kids at school for like two bucks a piece. So like either his mom makes them or he made them or something or he'd stop somewhere and buy them and he'd bring them to school and he'd sell breakfast tacos out of his book bag to all his friends or other people. That's kind of a black market, dude. He ain't got no food license. <laughs> That's sketchy to me. But I'm not buying tacos dude, out of When you're in high school, you're like, yeah, oh, here comes Johnny with the t- yeah, his breakfast tacos. Yeah, like, yeah. You, you, when you're in high school, you make bad judgment. Yeah, <laughs> you know, not, yeah like yeah, if yeah. some dude on the street was just like, hey, I got this breakfast yeah. taco. <laughs> I'd be like, no, I'll go just go to the breakfast taco truck. <laughs> even even if I was like at work or something, like if I was at work in my business office doing business, obviously, and somebody guy comes over to my cubicle and just like plastic bag full of tacos, and was like, yeah, yeah, you want to buy got a taco? these double cheeseburgers, <laughs> like, man? I'm not doing that. Yeah, dude. I'm trying to think if there's any other yeah, black markets that I've like. I mean, there's scalpers. Oh yeah, I you bought ever... stuff off Craigslist for tickets for a show, yeah, yeah. and I guess that's technically a black market. Yeah, the scalping, yeah, yeah, because I mean, even if you buy them at face value, yeah. it's still not the mar- main market to wow. buy it off of. Yeah, you know, I I came across one and I can't remember, but I definitely have come across another type of scalper where I definitely I remember I was with my girlfriend at the time, and she was like, "You better do that." I was like, "Really?" I was like, "Look at you being hood." <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, "Hell yeah, I'll take that deal." Yeah, but I don't remember what it was for. I've definitely, yeah, yeah. I guess I have bought from the black market. I never even thought about it like that. When you when when I hear the word term black market, I usually think of like like buying a liver, or buying like oh, a, geez. And that's a why foreign I said child or something. Yeah, because drugs are the black market. Yeah, like so, uh, I mean, I guess the only market for drugs is the black market. I never really associated drugs. I guess like if you were talking about like cocaine or something, I'd be like, yeah, that's black market stuff. But Wait, like, weed is still black market. It's illegal. You can't buy it in the store. Well, now you can. Okay. Well, back when when we were kids, depending like, on what state you're in. Yeah. Right. But uh, on that note, like, if you were to be able to like sell hooch in Utah, 
Yeah, it, well, it, people sell moonshine. Okay. Like, my uh, my mom's boyfriend knew a dude who, like, made his own little moonshine, and, like, that's the black market, because you're not legally allowed to make liquor. No, no. Yeah. No, no, no. When's the last time you had ever clear, man? Oh, dude, I had. Well, I went to my mom's, not this past time, the time before, did, when dude? I drove out there. He had that moonshine in his fridge. It, it he, I just I drove there, so I drove 17 hours in one day. I get there, and he's like, "Drink some of this moonshine." Took like two shots, and I was like, "What did Ooh. I do today?" I was like, "Oh wow, I drove 17 hours." No, I didn't. <laughs> yeah, that's great. It was dude. good. It actually tasted good too. It was like really? he made a well done moonshine's almost ever ever clear. It's pretty high alcohol content, yeah, 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 and yeah, it yeah. tasted good, and it didn't burn a ton either. The dude who made it, whoever it was, hmm. it was he made a good job. Hmm. It's been years for me since I've had like some homemade hooch. Oh yeah, dude, it's years, been yeah. Years. Well, like you know, some people do where they just like uh, let f- do that, like let the fruit ferment, like mm-hmm. rot, essentially, mm-hmm. and then it gets alcoholic. It's like prison hooch where they just take fruit and shove it in a bag until it turns into. You know, I've actually watched videos on YouTube on how to make your own wine at home and stuff, and it's not that. It's why not why that. don't we do it for the channel? You why don't we try to wine? make? Why don't not like no? Why don't we look up how to make like prison hooch? And why don't we make some in, well, our, in not, your toilet? No, but we have con- we don't have to make it in the toilet. We have containers. <laughs> but it's not official if we don't make it right. in the toilet. But like we could say, how do you make how do you make like alcoholic beverage out of like fruit? And we go and buy the fruit and yeah. we do the process to let it ferment, yeah. and then we try to drink it. Yeah, there's um, there's like only like one ingredient that you like that you need. And I can't remember what it's called, but uh, there's one ingredient that you 100% need. But the rest of it's like stuff you got around the house. It's not that hard. Right. Yeah. Like that would be because we talked about drinking uh, Bud Light NXTs to taste. Oh, by the way, they're out in the store now. Are they? Yeah. So oh, we I got some yeah, this I, morning. I went to the grocery store. Yeah. They, store. Uh, I saw them at the store the other day. It's like $15 for like, I don't, is it a 12 pack? If so, that's not bad. I think it was like an eight pack or something. Oh, dude, but, let's go half on it. <laughs> let's, go, can we, let's go to. Uh, can, I I would rather just buy store. a tall boy of it because I don't want to drink six of them. No, I figured we like drink. They have like a variety pack. No, it's it's just it's beer flavored. It's beer flavored. Yeah, that's what it is. Beer so it's beer flavored seltzer. So you're essentially drinking eighty calorie beer flavored seltzer. All right. Well, so if they have tall bad. boys, then yeah, I would say. We I would much do rather that. do that than try to drink six right. of them or you, whatever. You think they sell them at like the gas station? Or something? I don't know, but yeah, dude, we can make our own homemade prison hooch and drink it on the channel. I'm I'm cool with that. Like I don't, really don't like the taste of like wine. Me neither. It's not really like my favorite, but uh, I would I would try to make. Well, see, I don't like wine either. But you could almost make. It's almost like making a uh, sangria because it's all based with fruit. Yeah. So it's it's wine ish, but it's more tastes more like fruit juice because it's like it would be like if you ever had a grape juice this has went bad and it kind of has that. Uh, no, it doesn't. It's just fermented and turned alcoholic. Mm. It's it'd be the same sort of thing, but it, you could throw peaches or straw. You can throw whatever the hell you want, and we just make a tub of sangria and let it do its thing. I don't it's, know. How, it seems like such like a uh, like a forty year old woman thing to do to me. Like it really does <laughs> feel like a a forty year old yuppie thing to do. Yep, like I'm, oh, I'm we went about a hundred dollars worth of fruit to put yeah. in our sangria, Bob. This is like such a stigma of it. Like like we're just like forty five year old gay men and just <laughs> like, wow. Like, like, I don't know. That's just what I think. What I hear. Like I, honestly, I'm on board, but. Yeah, it I don't makes know. Me think it's something to do. We'll talk about it. Anyways. We'll, we'll, we'll talk. Put in the comment, what do you think about us making our own prison hooch? Uh, for <laughs> Not in the toilet. Uh, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Uh, please go to crazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Uh, we are out.